Calendar week 45. How to disappoint a pig. It's easier than you think. I like to mix things up for the piggies, and this week it rained pretty much all the time. So other than the brief occasional sunbreak, when they tumbled out and ran around a bit, the friendly fatties didn't come out of their house other than at meal times. So, stopping looking too bored, I put their food to the left, to the right, under the trees, scattered all around, to go and hunt for, and yesterday evening, in the garden. The pig house is officially called the Winter Palace, and the fenced-off enclosure around it is Mansion House. To the left of the Winter Palace, as you look at it, there's a fenced area inside the enclosure, called the Garden. When they heard me whistling for them, they came careening out over each other into Mansion House, and I cut in behind them and started chucking their food around in the garden. Foolish a human, so into his own brilliant idea he hadn't noticed that this year the garden had been promoted to designated shitting area. I didn't think, I don't think, I think I didn't get any food directly on top of any poo, but they were not happy. Pigs do not like to mix toilet and food. I mean, who does? But they are super clean, and they very much like the division of functions. Marilyn pretty much got on with it. Tor Tony snorted indignantly. Brunhilde, who has the largest and most expressive vocabulary of all of them, looked at me with those sad, stirred eyes and asked plaintively, Why do you do this to us, human? Are we not friends? Before shedding a single tear, and sorrowfully accepting the humiliation that comes with being made to feel like a pig, and ate her dinner. A year in review. At some point in December, probably not too close to the start, but definitely not in Christmas week either, I'm going to do an extra special post of the barracks. Year in review. Now I know that everybody does these, and they're all a bit predictable, but I've not done one before. And it will, of course, be sprinkled with dark humour and happy pig videos, with only a light winter dressing of doomerism. I'm going to send out the paid subscribers only, because even though I said that this will always be free, and the weekly Monday missives always will be, I do want to extend a special thank you to those of you who are financially supporting us here. It means so much to me, and I don't say thank you nearly enough, but without you, the barracks would not still be going. It's as simple as that. I'm grateful, humbled and delighted that you all continue to do so. For two months this year, more details in the year in review, the subs here actually exceeded the pig food expenditure. I don't have the emotional chops to tell you what this means to me, but if you know me, you know that it's not my strong suit anyway, and I hope you realise how much I appreciate it. You can also subscribe just for next month and cancel again in January. That would also be lovely. And if you're unwaged or unable to pay, but you'd like to get the review, then let me know on Instagram or email or somewhere that you'd like to be included in the list, and I shall happily put you on the list. Obviously, you don't have to give a reason. Just tip me the wink and mum's the word. This week, I'm going to be making a kitchen unit for the loft kitchen and then organise the place properly for a winter of cooking and comfort. Also, plenty of tidying up and things to do in the garden. And pick the leaves. Until then, with much piratey love, your Pirate Ben. XO. XO.